Hey, Mr. J, what are you doing there? Oh, just digging a hole to the other side of the planet. It's not as simple as you think, Mr. J, because in this video, we are going to all about this. It seems like a simple task. Dig deeply and I'll straight down and you should strike. Strike sunlight on the other side of the planet. Before you break the ground, know this, your role will lead to a dead end. Behold the whole truth as we examine every obstacle to your shortcut to the soil. Obstacle 1. The Earth's Crust High or low, wherever you go, you're always traveling on or above the Earth's crust. Our planet's outer layer began taking shape 4.5 billion years ago. The Earth's crust was formed. It's in two types. When you reach down and feel the ground, you're touching the continental crust. It ranges from 6 miles to 47 miles deep under Mount Everest. Continental crusts consist of less dense and much older rock than oceanic crust. The oceanic crust is 4 miles deep and thick at the bottom of the deepest ocean trenches. Neither the crust seems nearly thick. Tell that to the geologists and mining companies that try digging through it. Despite using main ocean bridges as a starting point for digging operations, they haven't been able to pierce to the crust. It's too tough, fiercely hot and full of hazards from pockets of molten rocks to lakes of boiling sun. Now we have reached the mountain. Even if you manage to dig through the Earth's crust, you literally want to crash the surface of the planet. Below lies the mantle, a layer of semi molten metal such as iron, magnesium, and aluminium. The pressure here is so intense that carbon turns into diamond. The easiest way to reach the mantle is to ride the oceanic crust. It slowly sinks in the mantle in a process called subduction. Once it reaches the mantle, the oceanic crust melts. It returns to the surface as magma in mid-oceanic ridges, where it's recycled into new crust. But this whole process takes more than 220 million years. So, you might want to... Now we're going into obstacle 3, the outer and the inner course. A spherical Marseille sea of molten iron and nickel falls 1,800 miles beneath your feet. And the pressure here is more than 27 million times as in sea level. And temperatures in the inner core exceeds 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the surface of the sun itself. Good luck digging to that. The deeper you dig into Earth, the deeper your troubles. Gravity pulls trillions and trillions of tons of rocks towards the center of the planet. Your body would suffer serious damage. And gravity will be your best body during the long haul to the center of the Earth. It's all downhill to the Earth's inner core. After all, you experience zero gravity at the exact center of the planet. But you have only made halfway to the center of the Earth. You must repeat all the backbreaking physics defying work that you got here. Seventy percent of the Earth's mass is covered with water. Which means you are much more likely to strike seawater than sunlight when you finally reach the other side of the planet. Try to dig a hole from China from the United States and you end up all wet in the Indian Ocean. 
So, are you ready to dig a hole to the other side of the planet? Please comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get more new updates. Bye for now! Hey Mr. J, what are you doing there? Oh 